All right, so in the next part of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the inside of the car. Uh, with this, I'm gonna put away all the parts that I've got sitting around inside the car. And then I'm going to sort of clean up all the different spots. I've got a few uh, little spots here that I need to clean up some of the welds on. So I'll actually move the figure out of the garage before I do that so I don't throw any sparks that way. But it is really close and I just really need to keep moving forward. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let's get to it. got all the tools out of the car. I have vacuumed that the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all of the spot welds that I put the inner bracing in the car, as well as do a few cleanups um, for some other um, stuff with the grinder. Once I'm done with that, I will um, clean up the whole entire area and start prepping it for the seam sealer and then go from there. We're getting close. Uh, I should have done this months ago. Always good uh, moving forward. Alright, so today I grinded out all of the really crappy welds that I had in the car 
and probably ruin my watch face, which isn't good. Um, so today I grinded down. Today I grinded down all of the welds inside the car. I was just gonna clean it and maybe grind out a couple, and then I realized how bad the welds were. So here's what it looked like before. This is just one spot that was pretty egregious. And then here's what it looks like after. So you can see a huge difference between the two. Um, so a thing of note, I didn't really think about it until about three quarters of the way through. I should have put on my respirator before I did all this. Wear your proper safety gear. And thanks for tuning in. Uh, this inside now is much closer to allowing me to actually throw down some primer and seal it up and paint it and then it'll be under the floor and I won't have to worry about it anymore but I'll at least know that it's not just the worst welds in the whole entire possible world uh, so that'll make my me feel better about the car inside but yep so next time I'll go ahead and smooth out the rest of these um, the rest of these surfaces and go to priming, sealing, painting, all that other good stuff. Thanks for watching. And if you like to see, go ahead, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, yep. All right, decided I'd finally set up a end screen for all of my videos. If you like to see, go ahead and click the subscribe button. That subscribe button lets me know that I'm doing good work. Like, also don't forget to set up your notifications so that way it'll notify you whenever I post a new video. Over here you're going to see my newest video. And then finally um, over here is what YouTube suggests should be the next video in this series. I've got all my videos set up in different playlists so you should be able to see and track and follow whichever projects you feel like. Thank you for watching. Get out there and work on your car and God bless.